Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first vlog this video. This is actually technically the second vlogmas video because if you don't know already, I'm actually doing vlogmas this year with my friend Georgia. I'm gonna link her YouTube down below, but she is day one, I'm day two, and then we're gonna be uploading like alternate days. So you're gonna get 24 videos from the both of us. Um, but today is a very exciting one. It's actually currently the 1st of December for us. Mm. And we've waited this long to put our tree up, which we didn't do last year. I think it was up like halfway through November. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we were just a bit excited about getting a new tree. I'm slightly disappointed because we don't have any advent calendars. Yeah. From the 1st of December. We're usually on it with that. At least by the time we get them, we'll have like five chocolates to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd pick you guys up. It's quite late in the day, it's like half one right now. So we're gonna try and get this all done before it gets dark, but then obviously we can show you it in the evening when it's super cozy in here. This is our first Christmas in this house. Um, and I feel like it's just gonna be the coziest time ever here. We're in like a little terrace house. We've got a bay window that we're gonna put the tree in. And I just think it's gonna look perfect. So mm. super excited to get into this. We need to go and dig out all of our Christmas decks from the shed outside and kind of see what we're working with. But yeah, I need a cup of tea before we start this. Mold wine. Oh, we have mold wine and mince pies to get and the some festive Christmas spirit. music. Yeah, we need that. We also have the fire on in the background, so if you can hear something crackling away, we also have an open fire in here. So very, very cozy. <clears throat> for Christmas time. You need to type in modern Christmas because I'm not dealing with the- Why? I like the- Christmas carols. Christmas hits. Christmas classics. I don't mind. World's best Christmas playlist. The world's best, that's a bold claim. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, let's go and get the decks. Hey, Santa, the city Covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents Are still by the tree They don't mean a thing Till he's here with me If you know Okay, this is what we are working with so far. We've got a few bits that we're gonna put up in the loft because we just don't have space for these things this year. But we have kind of like a mix match of um, Christmas decorations. We probably need to go through them all at some point and kind of filter through what we do and don't want. But we've got a load of like neutral bits in here. And then in this one, we have much more like traditional kind of decorations and like red, greens, little bells. We've also got some more candles in here. I don't think I've actually burnt this one. Christmas Magic by Yankee Candle. But yeah, we used to have two trees in our old house. We had one in the lounge and one in the kitchen and the one in the lounge was much more neutral and then the kitchen one was like the fun tree. So I think we're probably gonna mix and match this year just on obviously the one tree because we do not have space for two in this house. But we're just gonna sort through all this, get the tree up and then we can see where we're at. Tree in. This tree is from Balsam Hill and my mum introduced me to them and they are so good for Christmas stuff. They have garlands on there, we've also got our wreath from them as well which is really nice and they're all pre lit. So I highly recommend this brand. They are absolutely an investment, like they are not cheap at all. Mm -hmm. I think this was a few hundred pounds or a couple hundred pounds. I think it was a little bit more than that. Right. But it's so worth it, like you obviously buy it once and they also have really good sales as well just after Christmas and I think they do sell all year round, so I'm sure they have like discounted prices when it's obviously not Christmas time, but honestly could not recommend them more, they're so easy I just to put think up. If a Christmas tree costs you 60, 70 quid. Every year. Every year. You get one of these for 250 quid or 300 quid. Yeah. Get your money back in five years. Four or five years, yeah. 
highly recommend them. I think, I can't remember the exact name of this one, but I will link it down below. I'll show you the roof later as well. But we're going to put this up in the bay window, see what we're working with and go from there. Yeah, boy. A little bit more information on Squarespace if you haven't heard of them before. They are basically a website building platform, super easy to use. I have raved about them so much in the past, but if you guys have been setting up any online shops or like blogs or anything like that, then I highly recommend checking out Squarespace as a platform to use because you can edit absolutely everything about your website, include images, include your social handles. There's also so many analytics that you can go over, especially if you do have a shop. And yeah, they have very kindly given me a discount code so you can get a bit of money off your first domain purchase. If you wanna check it out, then click the link in my description. the tree is up that probably took us maximum 15 minutes if that and i feel like this one that we have like i said i can't remember the name but it will be linked i feel like she does look kind of real i mean they all look really quite realistic like considering they are fake trees i think they look really good but i feel like it's just not perfect enough to be so obviously fake we've made the same mistake that we make every single year and we've forgotten to put the tree skirt on before we put the tree up so we're now going to try and tackle that but this is what it's looking like with the lights on. Like I say, they're all pre-lit, so we didn't have to put any lights on or anything, which is such a hassle with putting up your Christmas tree. We do have them plugged into this cupboard here, so the wire is kind of hidden, but I'm just gonna kind of have this blanket basket in the way. Um, and I think we're gonna try and put some kind of chair here. So we still have some seating in the lounge for when people come over, but how cute. We also did try it like over to the side with this chair next to it, but it just didn't look right. I feel like it needs to be central to the bay window. And also we filmed that little time lapse on Brad's gimbal mm. that he bought himself for Christmas because Brad loves to put things on his Christmas list and then buy it anyway. <laughs> Is anyone else the same? Um, it's really good. We basically just did like a time lapse but it slowly moves across as you guys would have seen. But here is the tree. She's very busy. 
Um, usually we have a bit more of the theme going on, but we've kind of mixed and matched everything. And I kind of love it. Like as hectic as it is, it literally looks like Christmas has just thrown up in this house. But I'm a bit obsessed. I love these little bells. I think I got these from the range last year. The range have the best Christmas decorations. We've actually not bought any new this year at all. Like all of these are a mixed match of garden centre, the range. Yeah, we bought loads last year though, didn't we? Yeah, literally so some many. Wilco actually, we've got some from. Like these big baubles, they were all from Wilco and they're just so much more affordable. We've got loads of these little gonks. I've got one sat here. I also realised that we needed to decorate the back of the tree because people can actually see it this year. So I popped some of the little bells down here, some candy canes and yeah, that is what it's looking like. We're trying to figure out what we can do with this chair to kind of keep some seating space over there but we'll figure that out. We tried to put some stockings on the fireplace but I feel like there's a lot going on in here already and I think the tree is more than enough for now at least. Although this is like a tradition. My mum bought this Christmas decoration years ago like I must have been about five or six and it's been up every single year in her house and there was one year she didn't put it up in the kitchen she usually has it like over the cooker and obviously it's like a mini santa's washing line which is just so cute and um i was like where's the washing line she was like i don't think i'm gonna put it up anymore so i took it from her and it now goes up every year in our house because i just love it it reminds me of my childhood i feel like christmas stuff is just fun like as wild and crazy as it can be i just think it's the best time of year to obviously decorate your house like this so yeah that is what the lounge is now looking like we've still got the fire going those mince pies by the way we heat them up in the oven co-op mince pies are 10 out of 10 mm, they were so good we are gonna step outside now and see what the tree looks like from the other side like from the street because i feel like there's gonna be some gaps that we need to fill but I just want to see how cozy the house looks with the tree outside. We have some neighbours that have gone crazy with their light decorations outside their house. Like, it's insane. They have so many things. Like, all the blow-up things. There's lights all around their windows. Like, they've been at it all day. And it's now Blackpool Illuminations over there. <laughs> I completely forgot I picked these up yesterday. And there will be a come shop with me to b and going up in Vlogmas very soon. But I grabbed these cute little decorations and they light up. I was going to put them on the tree but they are quite heavy because they're china so i think i might just put them in the windowsill here and we can light them up in the evening how cute also please don't mind i feel like i've shown it a couple of times but there is so much stuff outside our house um just purely from renovating <laughs> that we still haven't moved they look cute there also got this little reindeer these little houses i need to find some homes for these but I think I'm just gonna kind of add them to this little shelving unit we have. This is the garland that we were telling you guys about, which is also from Balsam Hill. And it's so nice. I think this was like 90 pounds, I wanna say. This wasn't too expensive, again, considering you don't have to repurchase them. Um, I always, yeah, hide that in there. So we're gonna see if this actually shuts in our door, because on our last front door, we had to like bend it because it just did not close. Um, but hopefully it'll be fine. And it's also battery powered. So again, this is pre-lit and you just put four batteries in there and then you can set it on a timer. Ah, oh, this is what it looks like. We are on a main road, so apologies for the noise, but look, so cozy. You can also see me on the window. It's not very square. Isn't it? Uh-oh, Brad said it's not in the middle. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be. Look how cute. just brought my office chair down and we've popped it in this little corner just like I say when people come over they actually have somewhere to sit and it kind of just fills that gap and then I've put the basket of blankets that we have just down here on this side just so it looks a little bit more even I feel like it is very busy but it works for now and I'm sure we can rearrange this all over this week and see what works best but I am so happy with how it's come together it looks so cute and cozy in here now I just popped a couple of things on here so we've got 
this little light up house that I think we got from a garden center. And then I think this guy was from a garden center as well. And then over there we have the little light up oil lamp because we lost Brad's great granddad a few years ago. And one of the things that he gave over to Brad's family was an old oil lamp, like super, super old. And we saw this in a garden center not long after. And we thought we'd pick it up in memory of him. So that is why that is sat over there. And then obviously you guys have seen the little washing line that I've popped on the mirror. But otherwise, that is it. That is what the lounge is now looking like. I feel like we might be doing a little bit more decorating, but in other rooms we haven't done anything so far. So I am gonna run this video off here. So that is us decorating our lounge for Christmas. I just said I don't feel like we'll do much decorating else. Do, really. do much more decorating in the house. No, I don't think we need to do we? No. I think we have enough stuff in this house already. So mm. yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed my first day of Vlogmas, but Vlogmas day two, day three will be over on George's channel. I will see you again for Vlogmas day four. Bye guys.